Hi, Dominica here from easysewingforbeginners.com. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to the satin stitch foot, uh, which looks something like this. For um, if it's a Janome brand, it will probably have an F on there. So hopefully, you can see that in there. Now, this foot's different to the standard foot here. Um, in the way that it has a little groove on the underside here whereas the standard foot doesn't have that groove might be a bit hard to see and the main purpose for this is if you're doing your um, decorative stitches that are a little bit bulky like these ones here um, the satin stitch foot allows the um, thread and the fabric to go under the foot quite easily um, and sometimes I've found if I've been using the standard foot and doing a satin stitch, um, it can get stuck. So if you're doing a decorative stitch, especially a bulky one like this, or just your normal um, standard satin stitch like this, uh, this is the foot that would be the best to use. Okay. Uh, and just to add on to that, this is also a satin stitch foot. Um, for Janome it's called the F2 foot um, and the difference with this one is it has the little um, groove cut out here so it's called an open toed um, satin stitch foot and I use this one specifically if I'm doing um, sewing on applique pieces and if I'm sewing around the edge of the applique piece and it just allows me to see the fabric um, that's coming up quite clearly Whereas if you're using this one, sometimes it can be covered up or a little bit blurred. So it's not too bad. This, this standard F foot can be used for applique sewing, but um, I pre prefer to use the open toe foot. Okay, so that's the satin stitch F foot.